Alan Stratton here from CostMatters.com. To answer the question of where to use a standard, it helps to look at examples outside of our own situation, company, or industry. Because at times we put ourselves inside a self-imposed box and stop thinking for ourselves. So let's look at an example far from our current question. Recently, I took my car into a shop for an oil change. Personnel in the shop changed the oil, lubricated where necessary, checked fluid levels, inspected brakes, and a lot of other details. Did the shop use standards, standard costs, and standard rates? Absolutely. Let's look for some examples. First, why did I take my car into the shop when I did? Had it broken down? No. Rather, I followed the manufacturer's recommendation for service at a certain mileage or time interval. This was a standard. An actual event would have been the car breaking down on the freeway in rush hour. Second, the invoice reported 0.43 hours for the service. Was this the actual time spent servicing my vehicle? I doubt it. However, it was probably close and based on an industry blue book that they keep back in the office. This book lists a standard time for a lube and an oil service at 0.43 hours. As a customer, I really don't care exactly how long it takes, really only about the final charge. On the other hand, the shop expects the mechanic to complete the service in approximately 0.43 hours. Sometimes it will be over and sometimes it will be under. And if the shop experiences too many instances where it took too much time, the manager will investigate to determine what corrective action needs to be taken. Third, the invoice includes a line for shop supplies. What's this for? I don't recall them using anything else in servicing my car. Oh, <laughs> now I remember. There was a sign in the office when I checked in my car explaining shop supplies. They charge customers an additional 5% of the material cost to cover all the little stuff that they use. These include towels, minor sealants, and so on. Why the charge? Well, they don't want to itemize all the other stuff used on my car. If they had to itemize all shop supplies in detail, they would spend more than the 0.43 hours just tracking all the details. Now, fourth, the invoice included a second page. Here they listed all of the components and systems that the mechanic checked. The mechanic either made a check mark or noted a measurement in each space. Hey, this looks like a standard. A standard list of all service components. Otherwise, I would have to request each individual inspection. And without this standard list, I would probably forget to request a vital service or the mechanic could forget to perform a service. And without it, I might find myself breaking down on after all, on the freeway. So, what have we learned from this short excursion into a different, yet in this case, familiar environment? The shop and the auto manufacturer used standards several different ways. The common element was to simplify and enhance auto maintenance for the customer, for the mechanic, and for the repair shop using standards. These included standard lists and standard rates. Were these actual? No, but probably quite close. Does the shop avoid looking at actuals? No. They will continue to investigate and compare actual experience with their standard. Deviations or variances would prompt investigation and corrective action, and they will update their standard whenever necessary, or they will instigate corrective steps to bring their actuals back in line with the standard. What have we learned? Standards, standard rates, and standard costs are tools 
to simplify and or enhance managing complexity. How well they are used depends on the users. Where to use a standard? I would say anywhere that it will simplify complexity or enhance operations, you could consider using it. So, what are your experiences using standard costs? Please share them below this post at costmatters.com. When cost matters, profits soar. This is Alan Stratton from costmatters.com. Thank you.